Okay, well I'm gonna try and um, show the things that I missed out on the last one of me uh, Fusion Spive 10.1 um, tablet PC and uh, as I said before this is a 2, two gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabyte of um, uh, I think it's flash drive inside it would be flash drive wouldn't it it wouldn't be hard drive it'd be flash drive and um, I bought one of these cases um, and I got it from it's a Fusions case it's made particularly by Fusions and I got it from um, from Amazon and it's called the Fusion 5 a1 CS uh, and that's A1 is uh, A1 computer services and it's got 10 10.2 to 10.2 leather case look because it's not leather it looks like leather it's quite substantial uh, it's got a USB keyboard and it's got a stylus pen with a rubber end on which I, I'm quite uh, They're quite cheap these, they're all, it's aluminium but uh, it doesn't move in or out or anything, that, that's the, the complete thing as you see it. But it, it works on the screen, it doesn't scratch anything, there's no way you can scratch anything with that and it's quite good. And it's got a little captive thing there where you can, you can put it in and chop it, chop it in for safekeeping. And um, it's built specifically for the Android tablet PC which is this one. And it, it fits most of the ones I should imagine at 10.1, between 10.1 and 10.2 size, that's across there. And it was 12.59 including postage and package, so I was I was quite pleased with it. And uh, along with it, the stylus pen, you get um, a screen. I've got that in it, I've got it still wrapped up this. It's got covering over it as well, but I'm just keeping out, I'm not going to use it, I, I haven't found it necessary yet. But, you, you, you take, I've got it wrapped up in this piece of paper, you take it out the paper and, and stick it on the screen, remove the cover in and stick it on the screen and and uh, that's that. So I thought that was that, that was quite good really, I mean you've got a screen, a screen uh, protector and uh, you've got a stylus pen and uh, for 12.59 you can't really complain. Um, there's been a few results about, it, it's got a catch at the top. When you slide it in, there's a catch at the top top which holds it, and one at this end, and two at the bottom. And uh, people say, well, if you leave it like such and such, it, it falls out at this side. But I mean, it's got a it's got a thing on here which I must admit doesn't work all that well. But it does work. It will it will work if you put it on. It will stay on. But I, I've tried all sorts, and it it, it 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 just doesn't come out. It won't come out. And if you're worried about it, you can always stick a piece of, I don't know, something soft underneath to, to trap it, to push it outwards. I mean, it'll hold it against the thing then and it definitely won't come out. I found it satisfactory for that price. And the straps on it, they seem loose, but they are, I think they're magnetic. They must be magnetic because when you put them like that, they, it holds together. They don't come off. And it's got a little leg at the back where you can... That's got a magnetic little strap as well, you can see it going in, and that that allows you to stand it up. So it's not, for the price it isn't bad. Um, the only thing it hasn't got, of course, um, is it hasn't got a pound sign on it. There's no pound sign on the, on the keyboard. But uh, it's got a dollar sign, so I mean, that, I, I'm not bothered about that, it's not, it's not going to worry me and Julie. I'm not worried about that. And uh, I kept saying on the last video that the reason I got the thing for, and I got the thing, and I got the thing, and I kept telling, forgetting to tell you why I'd got it. And I got it to get better pictures. I kept taking stuff down on my old piece of equipment, my uh, e-reader, and I was quite chuffed with that. But I had to change it into 800 by 600 format so it would read. And this is 1000 by something by... Uh, 700 by something or 600 by something down the side so that's pix uh, 1080 pixels by whatever down the side I just forget I just forget what it is in fact I'll tell you what it is 
it's 1024 so that's 1024 pixels across the top and 600 pixels down the side that's a screen size but I, I, I've put bigger than that in and it's still showing them so it what it does it, it closes the screen up just slightly but the quality is very very good I'm quite pleased with the quality I'm not displeased with it um, I was trying to think about what else the case did for you but uh, it's just escaped me at the moment yeah oh yeah when you see it on the on the um, on the advertisement per Argos the, the, it shows it with a USB connection at the side which is um, one of these connectors it shows you one of them coming out the side like so it hasn't got one of them on it's got the actual thing that goes in it's got the um, oh dear and on the go um, USB connection at the side that's a normal USB connection and this has got the other connection at the side which is the on the go connection I haven't got one to show you available at the moment um, <clears throat> So that was that was one thing um, that I was quite pleased with, and I was I I, I bought myself an adapter just in well not in case because I could see it on the picture it didn't have one. So what you had to do was put the on the go adapter, which is that one there, the on the go adapter there, which is different to the USB connection, and then put that in, and then do your connection. So I was going to do that sort of thing, and then put this in that end. Like so, but you don't have to. So I've got an extra cable, and these ca this cable cost me a penny. It's a penny off uh, Amazon. He, it's three pounds to send you it, but it's only a penny to buy it. But I think you can buy them. Um, uh, I think they're about they're about three pound average anyway, and it's probably worth having an extra one. Um, although I didn't need to buy it, I bought it because I thought I didn't want to wait for anything. So that's that. Uh, the case is quite substantial. I'm quite happy with it. Not too bad. And um, I also got it for the I got it for the films because the films come on quite good. So I haven't done anything. I, ha I don't think it will. It, on my camera, my camera will not show uh, HDMI 820 by. It, it's AVC. My files are AVC files. They're called VOB files, and it just won't show them in this. The camera that I'm using now to video what I'm doing now is HDMI 1080p and that's what I'm using at 50p, 1080 at 50p and uh, it, it, it won't show them on this so I've got to take it down into 720. It will do, it will do uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, whatever it is, 1050 or 1025 by 720 and it'll do some horrendous uh, figures but it it won't show a full HDMI. It might do. There's something inside which I haven't I haven't gone into at all yet, so it might do. But I think it's I think it's set on 720. Um, I could be wrong, so I haven't gone into it fully. But anyway, I bought I bought the case uh, in case I buy, I buy my granddaughter one of these because I think she might like one of these. And the pad does help you with the word processor. I'm interested in word processing as well. And you can do your bits of word processing here. And I, I do order online because I'm a bit old now. And I, I don't... Um, I don't... Um, I don't go out shopping or anything. So I order from Amazon. Not I, I order from Amazon anyway. But I order my groceries from Tesco's and uh, Sainsbury's. And uh, there is a... Um, I've got an Amazon uh, thing app down. I don't know whether there is one for uh, Sainsbury's or Tesco's, but there there is one for Amazon. I've got the Amazon one, and I can I can go shopping on this downstairs, so I don't have to jump up and downstairs to get on this big machine. I can do it on this, and I am set up by Wi-Fi. I'm not uh, I'm not, I'm connected by Wi-Fi. I'm not connected by Bluetooth. Um. Anyway, I'll switch it on. When you first start it up, normally it comes up with um, all winner. Um, this is this is this is running in quite fast, actually. This is um, yeah. Uh, it, there's the all winner sign. That's it. That's the all winner sign. 
and it's Android KitKat 4.42 this one is you can see inside when you you go inside and check it on your, on your data it takes a bit longer when you do it when you first initially start up but once you've started up that one you don't see that anymore you just see the the, the little thing and that up it comes and then I, I've set this screen up as, as I want it I don't like any clutter at all I only want the apps and whatever I want on there and um, I don't want any flash if that was a blank screen it, but I'd be quite happy with it it's just blue or green or whatever and you can see I've got Amazon there there's the Amazon thing uh, application and I've got BBC uh, since I've had it I've had uh, the ITV player the BBC media BBC news BBC iPlayer and FreeSat and um, press the button for your other things to come on and these are all the apps. Uh, I've got Adobe Reader on. And um, I'll just pop into. You'll have to excuse me if it, things don't happen straight away. And I've got the documents that I want on, on the USB connection. And the USB connection, I, I kept showing you these cruiser blades. Well, they're exactly the same as a, a standard. I've got a Booksy. Uh, 8 gigabyte one there and I've got a 1 gigabyte so you, you can use these as well they're all they're all viable you can use any 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 old booksy thing they're quite happy to go in the side the only thing you've got to do is to use that little thing that comes with the equipment you get two cables one long cable like this and one short cable uh, and this one is um, I've got my data coming in on this one and I've got a document here I'll go back out again I don't know why I went out there I don't know what, what happened there it is and it's got the documents there so you, you just press on it and there she comes up and this will be one of the documents and you can see in there I've written I don't know if you can read that I'm not quite sure I'll try and get you a good pictures it, it looks okay to me but I don't know what it looks like to you I've got no idea I'm hoping it's going to be okay because the screen is one of them screens whereby you've got to uh, get it in the right position to see everything um, and you can get rid of all the stuff at the top and this has got save, save as, copy, paste it's, it's a proper word process it's got loads of things on it you can do and change the fonts, encrypt it etc 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 and you can save a file and when you save a file you can save it to the USB host or you can save it to the, the TF card or you can save it to your internal memory which comes with the with the machine and I've written on this is a con the Kingston office word process processor as supplied with the Fusion S5 uh, tablet PC the typing is being completed using the A1 uh, computer services leather look case on a USB keyboard that is also supplied with a I've just explained all that here the keyboard is an OT uh, G on the on the go connect USB connector already fitted so it's already fitted on it doesn't show you that it shows you a, a standard um, a standard USB socket at the end the large one but this one's got the OTG one on and it, it was 12 it, you can see that I've had to put 12 pounds 59 pence in and the other thing I wanted to show you was that OTG what, what it really means is um, if you take this out now I, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this or whatever but I'm taking my mouse off and I'm fitting the mouse into the host and I've got no idea whether you can see it, see it there I'll try and get closer to the screen as possible I'm trying to get as close as I can and uh, there's the mouse there you can see the mouse and it acts just as, as a normal mouse so that's what the OTG is for you can't just stick on a normal USB it's got to be an OTG socket that's what the OTG sockets are for and you can stick in mice and uh, as, I, as I said I've got a keyboard fitted in into the other side for data 
data transport transfer and if I started typing now uh, just go down the bottom there you can see that the keyboard's quite happily so I'm going to write capitals lock D A D for dad and there she is I hope you can see that I don't know whether you can see it or not pull back a little bit I'm hoping you'll be able to see that. So you can see that I've just printed in dad there. So you can type type away all day. And then you, you go up to the top here. And you can use your mouse now because it's already attached. And you can save as etc etc. I think this is quite a good thing for, for, for what it is. And uh, it was just a few things that I had forgotten. And the other things that, of course is th these little speakers which I've got on charge at the moment they're charging it's got the red lights on I've got two of them and you can put them in tandem so I'll pull back a little bit on that I'm getting a bit too close here there we are you can put them in tandem and then uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go I'll get out of this don't save I'm gonna get out of that and I'll go into 4K and I've got no movies in because I've got no no USB with movies on so I'm going to put this back in again so as I get my movies back and it should come up in a couple of seconds it'll change over in a minute there they are, there's my little movies uh, I'll put that one on. Let's see what we've got here. Lives are personal information and data swirling through the internet on a daily basis. Yet it's now caught in the greatest controversy of its life. Surveillance. This is a spy master's dream. No spy. US intelligence contractor Edward Snowden have led many to yeah, I've got two in tandem there has been turned against us they don't just want your search data or your email uh, they want they, everything they're quite and good actually as you are being surveilled 24 and it's got uh, uh, volume up and volume down but uh, free. leading to soul searching amongst those responsible for the web itself I used to think that in some countries you worry about the government, in some countries you worry about the corporation. It's a bit new for me, so you'll find I'm, I'm, now, it's a bit of, But uh, the sound is quite good. To a collection of brilliant thinkers and and I don't know how long I've got science it. Science has been fighting back. It's really no surprise that the privacy issue has unfolded the way it has. Developing technology to defeat surveillance, protecting activists. They try to intimidate me. I knew that they don't know anything. And in the process, coming into conflict with global power. They're detaining me at airports, threatening me. But now, thanks to a new digital currency. Yeah. If you're buying less than half a Bitcoin, you'll have to go to market price. This technology is sending lawmakers into a panic due to the growth of a new black yeah, market so in the dark. What I usually do is... Um, like a buffet dinner for narcotics. I usually put one on charge and then run the other one. I think these run about three hours on a full charge. They take about four hours to charge up and about, they run for about three hours depending. And uh, I, I charge one up while the other one's being used. And the battery life on this is about, um, I think it's about Outside world stop and private space begin. Yeah, they... What details of your life are you willing to share with strangers? I'm, I'm a bit slow here because I'm trying to I'm trying to get the picture at, at the right level and it's quite awkward. The pit the picture if you don't yeah I, 
automatically. It's jamming nuts, this, trying to, trying to get a good picture for you. Just like this is increasingly being installed into millions of homes. There should, should be no lights on really, but then again I can't see what I'm doing with no lights, so... Anyway... So you can put any USB device on the back end there, and you can stick a mouse in there, and you can stick a printer in there, and you can stick whatever else, I suppose, um, uh, any other device that you've got. In the end, something that needs power would probably have its own power source to run at the same time. But um, the keyboard, I'm, I'm quite, I would have been quite happy with the keyboard, but this does all sorts of things. I mean, it's, it's rather, rather, rather good. I'm, 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 I can't really fault it for what it, for what it costs. For £100, uh, well, £112, just a little bit over, actually. Um, it works amazingly well. Um, the only, as I say, the only thing is the battery life which is four hours on it, but um, I run it before I fall asleep while I'm watching, so if you've got, uh, I've got if you've got the charge, it will, it's quite happily, it, it will charge it quite happily, I have got, this is the charging unit, which I, I intended to show you before, and that's the, the five, it's a 5 volt so DC from uh, so an AC adapter, so and the end is a single pin, at this end, there you go. Yeah, it this won't go in, but, so that, that's a single pin that goes in, in the side there. And uh, it, it'll charge it while you're watching, because when I was watching once it came down to 14% and it, it said you are now at 14%, dangerously low. Uh, I suggest you put, well I didn't say I suggest, but it's, it said put the, place the charging unit on. So I put the charging unit on and was quite happy about it, so it doesn't seem to bother it. You can, it, you can put this in and take it out while, it, while, while it's in use, it would appear that you can. And I haven't had any problem. And mounting and dismounting the USBs, I haven't had any problems with that, although you do on any other piece of equipment. I mean, it doesn't seem to hurt anything. I haven't lost any data, but I would. There is a thing to dismount the USB, so I suggest you go through the dismount. But uh, I tend not to bother. Um, yeah. So I, I think that's about it. I've just about covered. Everything. Uh, I must say I'm really, really satisfied with this piece of equipment. Uh, and if you've got any questions, further questions, um, just let me know and uh, I'll try and help you. As I say, getting the screen in the right position is a bit of a fiddle. I think the next one I might get if it's... But they are expensive. I, I can't really afford because when I buy one of these, I've got to buy one for me, either my son and or my son, my, my daughter, or my granddaughter. They're the three, the three that are sort of uh, interested in things like this. The wife's not interested in anything like this. She's she's terrified of. Um, well, she's not terrified. She just doesn't like it. I mean, that's the same thing, I suppose. She doesn't like new technology, but I do, and. Um, my friend Ted, he's not interested in anything like this, so I, I've got to, I've got to, I can't really buy people Samsungs and things like that because they're too expensive. These are within a price range that pensioners I can afford, um, within reason to buy for them. And I think the case with the, with the USB keyboard and everything, it's a, it's a proper little computer. I mean, it, it really is now. It's a fully fledged computer. It's a little bit slow. It's only a 1.2 processor, um, an all winner processor. But um, it's very satisfactory. And uh, I'll close there now, anyway. But if anybody's got any questions or anything you want to know within reason, I don't know an awful lot. But uh, I was quite excited about it, and I'm, st I'm still quite excited. So you can have a mouse in there, you can you can have a keyboard, printer, it, it's a marvellous piece of kit. And there's, the apps for this are absolutely out of this world. And I have been on the internet, and uh, I go into Wi-Fi and go onto the internet, but it, some, it, it performs a bit, and I'm not quite sure how to get to places and things yet. I do get there, but it takes me a long time, so I'm not really going to get involved with how I get to where I get to.
this and, uh, is the weak spot. Because things tend to go wrong. And I don't know what they are yet. I'm not really familiar. I've only had it a couple of days. But you, you can see how simple I'm. I'm quite elderly and I, I'm not all that switched on. And I, I, I can I can get on with this really rapidly. And I think these are, these are a little low thing. These these are. Uh, Passing through the cables every second. These are, these are good for the sound. I mean, look at the size of that. It fits what in the hand. What you get is two copies of the signal. Um, one going off to the GCHQ and one carrying on in its original destination. And what you can do... is when you're finished with it, if it's not in use, there's a lining, lining up uh, thing. Is able to be replayed over the course of and there's a lining up so point on here. Analyzing this amount of data is an impressive achievement, but it also attracts criticism. When you see the capacity and the potential for that found technology, it. and the fact that it is no, being used found it. without transparency, and without anyway, it closes up. I can't find it at the moment. It's incredibly concerning because the power of that data to predict. Yeah, it closes up and, and locks again. So that, that's what I'm saying. I, at the minute, I just can't find it. But young people find these things rather fast anyway, and I. I I've just got a little bit of a problem, you turn it off and then you turn it around to lock it. We only know about the GCHQ project thanks to documents released by US whistleblower Edward Snowden and the revelation has begun to change the way many people think about privacy and the internet. Among them, yeah, it's there anyway. The World Wide Web. Okay, well I'll stop there anyway and uh, hope that's been some use. Somebody's got something out of it. I tried to remember everything, but I don't know whether I have or not, and I'll stop there. And wish you good luck with your machine.